Good morning, time now, 1 a.m. This is going to be a reading for the sign of Scorpio for the first week of April. Scorpio, if this is your first time viewing in my channel, I am Virgo, God of Spiritual Medium. Well, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe if this reading resonates with you. And also feel free to invite others as well. Okay, Scorpio, I have to redo your reading over. Okay, so Scorpio... Basically, long story short, you was involved in a situation with someone where um, it involved uh, some type of substance abuse, alcohol and substance abuse, where um, this person could have possibly went away to some type of drug uh, alcohol program facility, or this person could have gotten in trouble with the law where they went away and did a little bit of time. And while they was away... They went within seeking a higher power, um, seeking answers from a higher source such as spirit. Um, this person took time to uh, regain and recover and heal properly and correctly. And this person received a wake-up call and now this person has some type of renewal in their heart and soul. Where this person is wanting to start over again and make it right with you. And so in the past with the two of swords, um, Scorpio, either you or your person in the past felt as though they had their hands tied because they was dealing with a stalemate. And like I said, with the devil card, this um, involves drug and alcohol, some type of substance abuse, um, some type of toxic. Where um, Scorpio, someone um, stepped outside the relationship. It was disloyal and deceitful when they stepped out and got involved with multiple uh, people and partners. Where um, it involved a three-party situation where this person kept secrets and this person cheated on top of the drugs and alcohol paraphernalia. Because you got the five of swords, the devil card, the two of swords, the page of one. Um, long story short... Um, after dealing with this three-party situation and dealing with this person who um, lied and cheated and kept you in a three-party situation and broke your heart and had you grieving and hurting with that nine of pentacles. And like I said, this person, after going away doing some time, whether it was rehab or whatever, this person took time to heal and recoup and recover with the uh, five of cups. So now this person is wanting to come in and right their wrong, asking for some sort of reunion with the Four of Cups. This person is coming in from a distance with the Eight of Wands. This person is wanting to um pretty much come in, taking to uh, you know, wanting to come in having the right tools with the Three of Pentacles. Um, this person is wanting to wait for the right opportunity with the Three of Wands to come in and sit down and hopefully talk to you about a give and receive situation with the Six of Pentacles. This person is wanting to see if they can restore some type of family balance when it comes to um wanting to heal the family foundation and rebuild some type of structure and family legacy with the Ten of Pentacles because this person is aware in the past how they was, you know, in and out due to their uh, lies and deceit and disloyalty with the Seven of Swords. And so now this person is asking for you to have patience and to forgive them with the Temperance card because, like I said, in the past, this person stabbed you in the back with the Ten of Swords. In the past, this person was going out cheating and lying and had like multiple things going on with the seven of cups and so this person wants to pretty much come in and talk to you about um letting you know that they're done with their past that you know they're tired now they're done stepping out they're done being a lord away you know by different objects and obstacles so now this person's wanting to come in and seek some type of justice with you with the justice card because like i said with the hyphen card they took time to go within and seeking an answers from spirit highest source okay and so this person is done keeping secrets from you with the moon card they're done now this person is done breaking your heart. This person is done having you grieve. This person is done cheating. This person wants to come back in and make it right. And see if they can somehow put the relationship back together between you two. Asking that you have strength and forgiving them at this time. With the page of wands, they may not have much to offer you. But they're hoping that you will be understanding to this situation. And that, you know, 
you too can pretty much start over. And with that Ace of Wands, I do see the universe stepping into this situation where it's possible that you two will um end up, you know, coming together at least face to face where you will have a sit down conversation and talk about this situation. And, you know, and it may take time and you may have to tell this person to kind of let you sleep on it, you know, let you think about it. You know, because you too also may have taken time to really do some thinking and, you know, contemplating on what's the next step to take in this situation. And so um, spirit is with you. You know, I say at least hear this person out, you know, because you owe that to yourself. So this way, both of you, you know, both of you can heal, you know what I'm saying, properly. Whether you choose to come back together or not, it's about healing correctly and forgiving the past situation so that both of you could grow and continue to move forward either together or not together this will give you closure to put the proper closure on the situation or it will either open the door for a new beginning for a fresh start okay scorpio so again this has been your reading for the first week of april if it resonates please feel free to hit the like button and subscribe god bless